Open up! Who would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The Mastermind's right there! That kid locked us up! So he was the one who put these on us? It... It... wasn't me! Uh, it talks! Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? No freedom. I promise that I will release all of them. And what if we're wrong? You will lose. You'll have to stay in the game until at least six of them are dead. What? Let's go with blue! It's red. Right! Red! It's gotta be red! 50-50 chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote! Wait! I can't believe you guys! Kane's right! Are you just going to do what he says? What do you think, Kane's? You are the leader of this group. I will take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision.
So, uh, who was it who said it was red again? Hmm. <clears throat> well done, Carlos! Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It was just luck. I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec! Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What does it matter? Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? I'm a fair person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize, but you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will have forgotten everything that just happened here. Why would we forget? Hmm. I wonder. Hold on. Why are we outside? I have no clue. When I woke up, we were on the ground over there. Huh? What is it? Didn't we all have something attached to our left wrists? Hmm. I suppose we might have. Coin. Huh? Nothing. I just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind. It was flipped and falling. Ah, uh, come to think of it. Damn, I, I can't remember anything. Me neither. Neither can I. It somehow feels like... Like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? Hey, I... Uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid?
Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snake. It's red. See? Told you it was blue. <laughs> Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos... What were you thinking? Hey, wait a second! Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is... So? What now? You should know already. You were wrong, so the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more than that. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before we begin, to go to sleep. Sleep? When next you wake, you will forget everything that just happened here. Forget? But why? There's no point in telling you now. You won't remember anything at all. Pleasant dreams. Carlos! Akane! Bastard! What the hell's going on? You brought all of us here! No! It's not me! Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need to take it all out on the kid. Mira! I wonder what this is. <sighs> Give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. Why do you say that? You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Bracelet? That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Good morning. How are you feeling? Who's this? I am Zero. The second Zero. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally, she'd run down the right path, but for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, they asked, Why did you come this way today? 
This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. Don't you think? What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter, 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? As you can see, this place is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei, you three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C-Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. You are located in Ward Q. Your name will be Q-Team. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. Hey, wait! Is this a joke? And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D team. You may wander as you like, as long as you remain within your respective wards. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent will raise your memories to a Memory erasing drugs? As a result, you'll all fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. But you will also forget everything that occurred in those past 90 minutes. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. Hmm. Twelve. Ten. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hole in an elevator. Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. In blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and will be able to open the X door. This is bullshit. One caveat. The doll remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Oh yes. With this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, How can I kill six people? What? No one would... I'll give you one opportunity. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer at the corner of the room? The team names of your newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one vote. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group of two or more votes will lose. Every number of that team will be executed. Let us begin. This is the Decision Game, a game of fate. The lives of you, me, and the human race hang in the balance.
So this is the last room. Yes. We've checked everywhere we could. It's just as Zero said, huh? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. Fifty minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C-Team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But... Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test. Nope. What? Why? That masked guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then BAM! Or maybe... There's a bunch of different ways. If only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C-Team could vote for D-Team, D-Team for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. Way tie. A and no one would have to die? How do we make sure they know to do it? Hey! Mira! Eric! Diana! Fi! Sigma! Can you hear us? Uh, it's not working. Damn it! Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people? I guess the tough part is figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Hey, uh, anyone know what this thing could be? A box? What's inside of it? Maybe some kind of white smoke. A tomate baco? You've heard of it, Carlos? Hiroshima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says Force Quit Box. What's that? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what, though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. So, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? Akane Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Sigma. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. 
Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500,000 if we joined up. Huh. Color me surprised. Thought a hero of justice had no need of money. A what? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? A really good one? You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. Uh, I just have good instincts. Doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path has death at the end. Who is Zero? Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask, who is the second Zero instead? Then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akani and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta be connected. Just please. Believe me. She's right. Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think... If we end up losing this game, we're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. Yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term Reverie Syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah, kinda. Do you hear something? Over there! Gap! Where did you come from? Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So we came from another ward then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. But Ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Oh, I know. Let's cut off Junpei's arm. He should be able to fit through then. <laughs> hey, Mira! Eric! No answer, huh? Hey, Gab. Did they steal you away from DCOM, too? But 
Why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case, it holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Wait a sec. A beer coaster and a pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. But there's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent! Cross your fingers he can get to Q-Team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? Well, I guess we don't have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot? What did you throw? Cheese. Picked it up at the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too? Maybe next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. It was a joke. Five minutes left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit... I know! Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the gap letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. So what? So, vote for Q-Team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and... Yep, Q-Team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D-Team, and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! See, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has been well, as the next gap will begin with movement. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three. When you next wag, those who survive will be able to as all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Pleasant dreams.
Five minutes left. Like I said. I know. Hey, there. Uh, oh. C team is voting for D team. So D team. Yeah. So. What? If we do. Yep. Granted. Think of six people. Junpei. Come on, Carp. No, you can't. Oh. 